located at the heart of the long archipelago of Indonesia, is Bali. Just eight degrees south of the equator and surrounded by coral reefs, this island paradise teems with life. There is a staggering range of flora and fauna, amazing aquatic creatures, and of course, a lively and energetic population of people. Sandwiched between Java and Lombok, the island is about five and a half thousand square kilometers and has a population of over four million. Visitors to the island are unlikely to miss the large array of cloth and clothing available in the shops. Much of this is finished locally using the batik method of wax and dyes. This work is often carried out in small, local enterprises, like this one on the outskirts of Denpasar. This is our finished product. However, it has to go through many stages to get to this. We start with plain cloth like this, which we buy locally. This cloth is then dyed with one of our base colors. Depending on the finish, we use these moulds to apply a pattern of wax to the cloth. For complex finishes, we repeat this process several times between dyes. The colours are carefully mixed to get just the right shade of dye. In between each dyeing process, the cloth is hung to dry. After drying, the cloth is put through a solution to fix the colours so they do not run or leach into each other. We pass the cloth through boiling water to melt the wax. We recover the melted wax and reuse it. With the wax removed, we lay the cloth out to dry naturally. By bundling up the cloth and spreading soda powder, we achieve a mottled effect with a salty appearance.
We export our cloth to America, Canada, England, and many other countries. The finished cloth is again hung to dry. It is then folded, packaged, and dispatched for sale, not only locally, but all over the world, giving us all a chance to experience a little bit of Bali magic.